Hello everyone, um, my name is Michaela and um, I'm going to be telling you guys how to upload content to S3. So here we have just a very simple website and pretty much I'm going to show you guys what it does. So I'm going to delete the contents um, in my uh, bucket. So you're going to need to create a bucket, but I'll show you that after. But I'm just showing you guys what it does. Okay. So what you do is you choose a file. And I'm going to choose like a simple PDF. Actually, I'll just choose a picture because it's simpler. And then we have a title. I don't know, like it's a comic for you. Um, genre, romance, completed. Uh, let's say ongoing. Then we upload it. And I don't have a button or an alert that says when it's uploaded it yet. But it should say uploaded successfully. And then if we go here, we have MichaelaLean.jpg, which is our object. So the first thing after you create your bucket um, is you want to go to permission. So I'm I'm under the pretense that you already know how to create a bucket. And again, make sure that your pub, uh, your your bucket doesn't block all people. Make sure it's public. And then after you make sure it's public, you want to go to um, cross origin resource sharing inside uh, permissions. So you'll want to make um, your buck like your cross origin resource sharing policy that is in JSON. Um, allow the methods of put, post, and delete because that's what we need to do to upload documents to, um, you know, the S3 bucket. And we also want to uh, allow our origin to upload content from here. So right now, this is where we're uploading it from, localhost 3000. Um, if it's a specific domain name, which we don't have a domain name for our website yet, um, it would be like http the name of your website dot com uh, and now we have exposed headers so basically a header is like a tag that shows like it's um, it's kind of like a fingerprint fingerprint for a file so I'm gonna tell you guys what um, a header is I'm gonna take this out here so a header is like a fingerprint for a file stored on a server each file has its own unique fingerprint. So when you ask the server for a file, it not only gives you the file, but it also gives you its fingerprint. So later, if you want to check if the file has been changed, you can ask the server, hey, is the file with this fingerprint still the same? If the file hasn't changed, the server will say yes, it's still the same, the file has changed. If the server says no, uh, if the file has changed, or changed, the server says no, it's different now. So this helps the computer save time by not re-downloading files it already has and make sure it always gets the latest version of a file when it's updated. So we can actually see the e-tag in the most recent um, object that we uploaded. So as you can see, I don't know if I'm like exposing data, but whatever. So um, the entity tag is right here. Okay. So this is our bucket, um, it's public bucket. So now let's focus on the code. Okay, so we are working with React, of course, and this is my upload component. And um, basically the upload component is what code that's just uploaded to S3. And I'm going to show you guys what um, you can do to upload. So as I can see, 
I, I am assuming that you know how to code in React, which has led you to this tutorial. So there's your file, right now it's set at null, your title, you know, and this will handle like the changing of, you know, the values when you type it in. And then what's the most important aspect of this is that we have S3, okay? We create an S3 object with the um, access key um, ID and the secret access key and the region. So I just hard code the region because whatever. Um, I hard code the region here just for now. It's just like a, a little personal project, but um, you'll want to put like the um, the access key ID to your bucket um, in an end file. So to access the access key ID in your bucket um, that you will store in your end file, you will say process.end react app AWS key ID, and you'll do the same for this. Okay. And then basically, here we have all the, the, the parameters we are going to upload uh, right here. And here's some of the metadata right here, which will be added via the input. Okay. And then now here we're uploading um, the file to S3. We have a promise right here. So if it's um, uploads, so if we're going to try to upload with this data in this object right here, and if it's it's okay, it will console.log uploaded successfully. I'm also going to put alert because I need an alert if it's right. Success. And if there's something that goes wrong, we want to uh, console.log the error in the inspector. So yeah, that's basically how you do that. As you can see, I've used a bit of bootstrap, not too much though. And yeah, that's just like pretty much how you would just upload to S3. It's really not that um, complicated. Again, make sure to store your access keys in your on file so it's more secure. Yeah, it's really easy, really simple. And just just remember to store all these access keys, these secret access keys, somewhere safe, and don't expose it to the public. Thanks.